Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to come at you with a tutorial of how to do this, or this, or many other patterns. Now, you probably clicked on this video because you wanted to learn how to do it. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is put your apps into wiggle mode, or delete mode. Go to this page where it's empty, and take a screenshot. Once you're done with that, now you want to go to this website called I empty dot to phone dot oop, dot net. The link will be in the description below. Now, from here, you want to go to create blank icons. Now, since I've done it before, my my um wallpaper is here, but yours will not be there. Then you're gonna want to click. So yours will go straight to this. You're gonna want to click choose file photo library then go to um then click the photo that you just took of your sh your home screen now click upload photo now once it's done uploading just give it a minute you want to click now mine has the air shoe re thingy because I'm recording with it but yours won't be there obviously so let's say you wanted to do the frame thing like I did. You would want two by two. So you would click on two by two, and it's gonna come up with this picture right here surrounded by dots. Now you wanna click the share button at the bottom middle, and then click add to home screen. And it will come up with this question mark. That's what makes it a blank application or bookmark. So now you click add, and it will put it at your home screen. Now it's actually right here, and 2x2 two two, it would normally go right here, and then you would frame your photo. So I'll just pull up my messaging so I can give you an example. So you could go like this, and then you could have it alternating patterns. So now I could get the 2x4, so I usually just click back on the bookmark to go back to the page, click change icon, now go to 2x4. Now you don't have to do this exactly pattern, this pattern exactly, you can do whatever pattern you'd like. Now you can click add, and it should, now since my n recent application will add it there, now you can put it there, and there you go. So yeah, that's how you make your own custom home screens. Now you may be able to, I can see it right now, though you can see the little squares, but um, that's because I have the Airshoe app recording. It will not do that for you. Um, just so you know, it will not do that for you. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Go out and customize your beautiful home screen. And, yeah, I'm just gonna fix my dock real quick. So I can have my apps back. And, yeah. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.